This is a flip book I made when I was a kid. And between then and now, a lot of stuff has happened. I grew up, went on a mission, went to college, got into filmmaking, got married, had kids. My animation skills have gotten better. I've even been able to animate on some movies like Kubo and the Two Strings, The Box Trolls, Paranorman, Missing Link. But making flipbooks like this, this is one of the things that made me fall in love with animation in the first place. In fact, this is my son Asher when he was just four years old seeing a flipbook for the very first time, and it's this hot dog flipbook that I showed him. So, what I want to do is now that it's three decades later, I'm going to remake this flipbook and see how much better I can make it. So what I want to do in remaking this flipbook uh, is basically tell the same story, you know, with more or less the same shots, but I want to make the animation better and I want to go bigger. And actually, I was surprised to realize this will be the third time I'm making this flipbook. Here's the very first version I had made as a kid. I had I'd totally forgotten that this one existed and then I found it a while back in uh, my old flipbooks. So this one is actually the second version. Now I'm making version three. So hey, maybe in another 30 years, I'll do it again. I prefer to ease into things to make it less intimidating. So let's start with the easy part of the animation. A hot dog bun sitting there doing absolutely nothing. This is my kind of animation. And in this new version, trying to up our game here. So we're gonna start with an empty bun, big twist. And then I wanna see a pair of metal tongs drop the hot dog into the bun. And I'll have the hot dog sagging a bit on both ends to add a feeling of weight. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. All right, for sauce, uh, we can't just go straight to hot sauce. You gotta start with mustard, then we'll bring in the big guns with some hot sauce. Moments like this are a, a perfect opportunity to use a template drawing, right? So I'm gonna make one master drawing of the mustard bottle, then what I can do is I can reposition that template for each page and just trace over it. Makes it a lot easier and keeps the shape of the mustard bottle consistent from page to page. I'll draw the movement of the bottle first, and then I'll go back and add in the mustard pouring out after that. And I know you guys have all been wondering what the top of my head looks like, so here you go. Ah, that doesn't look quite right. I'm gonna redo part of that. Okay, that's working better. Now we'll do the squiggly mustard pouring out. All right, now it's time to bring out the hot sauce. So same thing here, I'm gonna make a master drawing that I can reposition and trace onto each page for the hot sauce bottle. Let's put a nice, fiery looking label on the bottle. And we don't want just a little hot sauce. We're gonna dump a nice hefty load of hot sauce on this dog. A couple of drips over the edge, but I don't think that's quite enough for this one. You gotta go bigger, right? So let's drop a big red pepper right on top. We use the tongs again to drop it down. And then uh, since it's dropping, we can give it a bit of a splash or splat when it hits the hot sauce. I'm really happy with the way this is looking. I just, I think that looks so cool. I just, I love doing splats, uh, doing splats and drips and stuff. They're, it's just so fun, but yeah, I'm really happy with this so far.
I really feel a, a lot of nostalgia around this specific flipbook because I, I remember how I felt when I made it. Uh, I remember sitting there on the couch drawing it, sitting next to my mom. And I remember how cool I thought the movement of the hand was in scooping up the hot dog. Uh, I just remember really liking the way that looked. So same thing now, I'm gonna have a hand come in, scoop up the hot dog, which means I need some video reference. Unfortunately, there are currently no hot dog buns in the house, but I do have a sweet potato, so that'll have to do. But it doesn't matter too much what I'm picking up. Uh, this is kind of the general <laughs> size of a hot dog. I just need to see how the hand moves, so that'll be the main point of this video reference. So now I can go through that reference video a frame at a time and watch how my hand moves and just how each finger moves frame to frame. And that is a huge help as I sketch the hand coming in and scooping up the hot dog. Uh, and I'll have a couple drips fall as it leaves frame. I really love drawing drips and splats. They're, they're a lot of fun. That's why I love making my slime video so much. Um, if you guys have seen that, it's just nothing but drips and splats. And now it's time again for some video reference. But this time I do have hot dog buns. So in the original, he shoves the whole thing in his mouth in one bite. So that's what I'm gonna do. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that's my animation reference. I'm following it really closely for the rest of the flipbook. And now I'm gonna jump ahead to the most problematic part of this animation, the fire. Here's the problem. I wanted to go bigger with the fire, right? But the original flipbook style was really cartoony. He ate the hot dog and then was like, bah, fire. This version, it's so realistic looking and he's like being engulfed in flames. And then there's this look of absolute terror on his face. It, it just goes too far. <laughs> So one other idea I had was to try to make it more cartoony, just lean into that and have his, you know, like his eyes bug out along with the flames. That is probably more horrible. Yep, this is not the right idea. So what I'm gonna do instead, I'm just gonna scale back the fire a little bit. I'll redo some pages so that the fire isn't, you know, engulfing his whole head in flames from the underworld. Okay, so I think that's better, and it's a bit less demonic looking. Obviously, I've been doing this a little bit out of order. I'm gonna jump in now to doing the shots of uh, eating the hot dog before the fire. And then after that, we should be ready to do the rest of the color.
That's it. All the coloring is done. It's finally finished. Finally finished. So here are the first two versions and then the newest one 30 years later. <laughs> I can't believe this took me as long as it did, but I'm really happy with how this turned out. And I had so much fun with the, the hot sauce and the fire and everything, but I'd love to hear what you guys think down below. And if you want to make your own flip books, go to andymation.com. You can get my flip book kit, flip book paper, my light pad, everything that I use in my videos. So go check that out, animation.com. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Hmm?